guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty With A Purpose. Today, I have for you guys my makeup collection slash filming setup slash where I work to edit my videos. And yeah, so it's all in the same room. So we're just gonna go ahead and get into it. Okay, you guys. So this is obviously where I film and all this stuff is in our bedroom. And then this right here is my little filming corner. And so we'll go ahead and show you guys where I got everything. And so this little lipstick picture right here came from Marshalls or Home Goods. That came from Home Goods, and then this one is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. This girl boss sign is Dollar Tree. This is Hobby Lobby. My sister made this for me. Dollar Tree, Home Goods, and then the little lights are from Home Goods, and they're operated. And then right over here, like. This is like the door, the door, and then so right over here, this is usually where I do my makeup, and if I am filming, this is the table that I will scoot over here, and I will hold all my makeup on it, and such, and like that, and then I do just sit here on like a regular day to do my makeup, so this little bag right here holds my makeup sponges and my little mirror, and then I do keep hand sanitizer just so my hands are always clean when I'm applying, applying primer or anything like that, and then... This one right here holds like all my foundation brushes, concealer brushes. So any brush that you would use for liquid or cream products is right here. And then in this one over here, these are all my bronzer and highlighter brush, contour brushes, anything like that. So highlight and bronzer. And then over here, I just have all of my big powder brushes. So for like powder, blush, and then right here in like this big side of the container right here is my eyeshadow brushes and then I got this little container for like five bucks on Amazon and then this little bag is from Ulta my little impressions vanity mirror that's broken I got at TJ Maxx I had it on sale one year for like 12 bucks and then these little containers here I found in the tar Target dollar spot and they have different kinds all the time I got mine back in like 2015 2016 okay and then we will go over to this wall this picture right here also got at the dollar tree and then whenever you turn this way this is obviously my filming setup i actually use the ironing board to hold up my small light and usually my camera stand goes right here with my phone stand because i use my phone to record goes right here on top of this bible so oh, that bible's from mardell's and then this little notebook that i use to like take notes for whenever i'm um, talking to you guys about scriptures, I got a pack of three of these at TJ Maxx, and then this Bible as well is from Mardell's. And then, like I said, this little light was on Amazon for like uh, ten bucks, ten to twenty bucks, and then this light was twenty to thirty bucks, somewhere in that range. And then this light actually came with the little stand that I used to record. Okay, so then over here I have my little flowers that I made in my vlog. And then this is actually just full of some Young Living essential oils. Um, that's for like if you get a cold or something, you just rub it on your spine. And then all these little jars right here. These actually, this one actually holds my little Q-tips. All these little jars and this box right here that says let your faith be bigger than your fear. Let me fix it so you guys can see it. So this little box right here, the one that says, let your face be bigger than your fear. Um, and these little mason jar type thing. This one's supposed to have cotton balls in it, but yeah. And so those my mom and my sister made for me one year from Christmas. My little fan that I use for my videos, I got that from the Dollar Tree. This Mrs. sign my sister got for me from Hobby Lobby. So all my decorations are home good, home good home goods dollar tree and hobby lobby and then i believe my mom and sister bought all this stuff from hobby lobby to make okay now to get into the fun stuff which is my makeup now i know i don't have a fancy setup or anything like that but 
I am humble and I know that things will get better and I'm very thankful for what I have and that I'm even able to do this and have a makeup collection because yeah Ooh, my little miss is saying and we got this on sale for $2.99 you guys I don't buy anything full price or an I will say this, most of my makeup has come from, I've collected over a large period of time. I buy everything on sale or when there is a sale. And 99% of everything makeup, makeup brushes and makeup itself has been gifted to me. Okay, so back here we have all of my foundations. So I have the e.l.f. foundation, the Wet n Wild foundation, which I used in today's video or a video that I filmed today the wet and wild liquid foundation so i have the stick and the liquid i have this bare minerals pure brightening serum foundation this one's a little bit pinky on me but i can make it work and then for the summer when i i'm gonna be swimming or something i do have this um perfecting radiant skin tint because it does have this is from a rimmel it's insta flawless and it does have um spf in it i have my fit me matte and poreless my CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. And then I have my favorite foundation at the moment, which is my Believe Beauty Foundation. I have the ABH Foundation. And then I have this Revlon Candid Foundation. And then the last foundation that I have is my Wet n Wild BB Cream BB Cream Cushion. And so obviously this is the drawer with all my face products. So for concealers, I have just down there, I have my Ulta concealer. It's pretty dark. I need to buy a lighter one, but I like this one for covering some spots when I'm wearing a light coverage foundation. My Believe Beauty concealer, my Patrice concealer, my L'Oreal Infallible, and then my Maybelline Adri Wine. And then right here, I have all of my setting sprays. So I have this Skin & Company one that I got from BoxyCharm. I have this Catrice Prime and Fine Multi Talent Fixing Spray. I have two of the Wet n Wild sprays, Rose and Cucumber. Rose has been my favorite so far. I don't really like the scent of Cucumber, but the coconut one's good as well. I have tried that one. And then I have my e.l.f. Glow Dewy Mist. And that is my favorite. I like to spray that on a sponge and then put it on my face. I don't like to spray it on my face. Okay, now on to powders. Okay, I have this Becca powder right here. I have this Candid Photo Ready powder, this Ciate Extraordinary powder. I have a little bit of Too Faced Ethereal setting powder left. And then I have my Bella Pierre setting powder. That's really, really yellow. And then I have my Believe It Beauty setting powder, which I just learned today has a terrible flashback. And then I have my Hard Candy Bake Brighten and Set, which also has terrible flashback. And I think this one does as well, the Ciate one. And then I have this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Powder. Then for primers, I have the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. I can't use very, a lot of that. I can't use a lot of that on my face just because I'm a little bit more dry. I have... This Ulta Beauty Hydrating Face Primer. I have the Revlon Pore, Pore Reducing Primer. This is the one with the little pink tint. I have a little bit of a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I have a smaller Ulta Beauty Hydrating Primer. And then I have lots of hydrating primers. I have the um, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer. And then I have the Ciate watermelon burst hydrating primer and then i have the elf hydrating primer i have the touch and soul glassy skin primer and then this one is that illa mask Min uh hydravel primer that's the one that i just got into my ipsy and so obviously my collection will keep growing because i have a boxy charm and ipsy and so far i've liked everything that they've sent me Okay, so still continuing in the same set of drawers in this one right here. This one has all my bronze, all my face powders, um, so bronzer, blush, highlight. So we'll go ahead and start with the liquid products. So the first one I have is the Ciate Dewy Skin Sticks, and then I have this Suva Beauty Liquid Highlighter. Um, I really need to get rid of this because I wasn't a big fan of it, but this is the Tristique um highlighter it's like iridescent pink and purple and then i have that laritzy 
like cream highlighter down there, which I actually really like. And then all right here starts bronzers and or these three right here are highlights. So I have this Sugar Beauty highlighter in the shade Champagne Champion. And then obviously I have Wet n Wild Golden Flower Crown and Precious Petals. And then going into bronzers, I have this I have this Beauty Insight bronzer, which is actually a really good bronzer. My mom, I believe, got this in one of like the little gift sets that you could get at Walmart. And these products are actually really good, really smooth, really blendable. And then I have my Physicians Formula bronzer. I have this Gigi Gorgeous bronzer. I have a number seven bronzer in a maple. And then I have one Wet n Wild blush in the shade Pearlescent Pink. I have my CoverGirl blush in the shade Peach Punch. And then, oh, I need a bigger thing. What did I add in here? It's making everything go out of whack. Okay. And then I have this Phase Zero blush in the shade Making It Moves. And that's just what that looks like. So pretty much pearlescent pink, peach punch, and make and move are like all the same color. And then, okay, this is going to have to get out of there because it just messed up the whole flow. Okay, and then I have my Tarte blush in the shade Party. This was a gift, um, a free birthday gift one year. So that's just uh, that shade. I forget I have this one. Every time I'm looking for a matte like neutral shade and then i have my essence blush in the shade satin coral and then i have again the beauty insight blush in just the shade right here which i really really like okay now on to blush palettes i have this folklore blush palette which is basically I have this Folklore Blush Palette, which is basically the same thing as this Madison Miller Ultra Blush Palette. Like, look at this, guys. Different order, but the exact... Let me put them up in the light. So, different order, but the exact same thing that the Folklore one might be a little bit darker. Like a smidge darker. So, those two blush palettes... And then I have this Betty Boop blush blush, this Betty Boop blush palette, which kind of looks similar to the other two. And then my Sephora Winter Flush palette that they had a couple years back. And yeah, that's all of the blush. And then for bronzer palettes, I have only have two. So I have this one, and this one actually has a highlighter in it as well. I have this one from I have this one from I Heart Revolution. It actually goes this way. And I actually really like these. You do have to, on my skin tone, you do have to build up the bronzer a bit. But it is smooth and creamy. And the highlight is really pretty as well. And then I have this Makeup Revolution palette. Which is like 7 bucks at Ulta. And this is just what this looks like. I really like that one too. I like that one a lot in the summer. Because it really, really bronzes you up. And then I have, for highlight pa highlighting palettes... I have the Makeup Revolution. I have the Makeup Revolution highlighting palette, which just looks like that. And then I have the Anastasia Glow Kit in Sugar. And guys, excuse my makeup. My kids like to destroy my stuff. And then in Sugar, I have this one. And then that is it for face waters. Who remembers like if when I first started my channel and I like there was hardly anything in these drawers? Who remembers that? And I sure as heck didn't have this many, this many lashes. So for my bottom drawer, this is all my brows and brows and lashes. So we have the Kiss Blurdy lashes. We have Broadway Wispy. These are from Dollar General. They're very pretty for every day. And then I have these Glam Wispies from a brand that I found at TJ Maxx. And then I have my Salon Perfect 614s. And then I have some LA Colors lashes in Delightful. Those run like literally a dollar a pair. Okay. And then over here, these are just a couple of pairs that I got off of AliExpress. I'm actually wearing uh I'm actually wearing some of these today, which you would see in my 
um, Tati eyeshadow palette video. But I am wearing these today. And then I have these on, which you have seen in the video where my sister does my makeup. And these were a dollar. I got this pack for 10 cents for being a new customer. So not too shabby. They took about a month to come in, but I don't mind not paying that little for how beautiful they are. And then I got the Kiss number one lashes and then the Kiss number 11s. Okay. Maybe I should stack these different. That makes more sense. Over here, I have all of my mascaras. So let's see. I'm going to drop them and name them. Okay, so we have... That one is an Ulta Beauty Mascara. That's the Monsieur Big. This one is that Douce Mascara. Um, Cover Girl Lash Flourish. Thrive Cosmetic. Um, L'Oreal Voluminous Carmen Black. This is that Focalore Balm Lashes, which actually reminds me of the, um, what you call it. This Balm Lashes reminds me of the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. And then I have the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. And then also in here, I have my Rimmel Gel Eyeliner. I have my Milani uh, Brow Pomade. And then I have Marc Jacobs Highliner. Uh, this Mellow Liquid Liner, Hank and Henry Liquid Liner. And then this Hollywood and Vine Coal Eyeliner. And then obviously in here, I just have a bunch of tools and whatnot for my brows. So tweezers, scissors, curlers, little face razors. And then I also have, I have Duo Lash Glue. I have Believe Beauty Eyebrow Gel. And then I have Elf Eyebrow Gel. I have this Billion Dollar Brow Micro Blade Effect. Kiss Lash, Kiss Lash Adhesive. I have my Believe Beauty Brow Pencil, my Elf Brow Pencil. And then I have this um, Tanya Crooks uh, little eyebrow shadow, uh, eyebrow powder palette. Whew. Back is hurting, bending over, y'all. Okay, now, now on to this drawer. So up top, my favorite drawer. This is where all the creativity really comes in. Like, you can't be creative without eyeshadow. So... And let's just say I have the Tati Beauty palette. And I'll just give you guys a quick glimpse of what the palettes look like. So I have my... <laughs> so I have my Tati Beauty palette. And then I have... This is why I never show my Jaclyn Hill palette on camera. Because it's dirty. And then I had to go in and write all the names on there. Because they're not on the back. So yeah. So when I'm doing my videos and I want to tell you guys what shade. I went and wrote all the names on the inside of it. Okay, and then this Alamar, this still has the film in it, this Alamar Cosmetics palette, and then we have Curly Bible Deluxe Edition palette, and then Juvia's Place, the Nubian palette, and then I have this Sephora Winter Collection palette, which just looks like that, lots of cool tones, I love it. And then I have the Milani Bold Obsessions palette, which just looks like that. Got some, got a good range of cool and warm tones. And then I have this, I might give this away because I didn't, it's not terrible, just not my cup of tea. So I have the Wander Beauty Wondrous Seascape. So like I said, it has really pretty shades, but there's only one matte in this entire palette. But it is a pretty palette. Okay. So we're going to put all of these back in. Now that we're done with that side. So then I have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 palette, which just looks like this. It looks a lot like the Sephora one. And then I have these eight Beauty, these Ace Butte Single Eyeshadows. This one's in the shade of French Vanilla. And then this one is Huckleberry, which is really, really cute. Okay, and then I also have this Amber Rush um, L'Oreal. The shade is Amber Rush. It's a L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow, and that's just what that looks like. It's really pretty and really shimmery. And then the last one that I have is this Tarte. What are these called? Chrome Paints, and I have mine in the shade Martini. 
Then I have this, this Laura Sanchez Moods palette. And she said that these were named after emojis, but I actually lost that paper. And why didn't I ever add this makeup brush to my collection? I don't know, but this is very pretty. because I don't have any colorful eyeshadow palettes, so I'm really excited. But I got this as an, in an Ipsy uh, Glam Bag Plus. So it has two highlighters and, like I said, a really colorful eyeshadow palette. And then, of course, I have my Profusion Sienna's palette. That palette's, you only, you get, that palette is only $10 and you get such a crap load. And then I have my BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. Love, love, love. Okay, so let's put all these back. It's just going to keep on falling, so we'll just lay her down for right now. So we have the Violet, another palette, sorry. We have the Violet Voss Essentials palette, which is super cute. Yet again, my son loves to dig fingers and stuff. And then I have this same thing in this, the Color Workshop. This is a Smokes palette, so this is very good for a cool, smoky eye. And it has lots of purples and whatnot. I have used some of that, that shade right there, that green sparkly one. It's really pretty. Looks like black green sparkly. And I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And then I have the Norvina. This is my first high-end palette that... Oh, I didn't buy it. Brian bought it for me. But, like, that came out of our pocket that I ever purchased. So, this one will forever be near and dear to my heart. Um, so, yeah, that's just what that looks like. Never getting rid of that. And then another one, when I fell, my sister gave me this. I wanted this since it came out. My sister Faith is always giving me eyeshadow palettes that, like, are high-end. And I'm just like, thank you. Thank you very much. So, there's that one. So, she gave me this one the chocolate bar and she bought me the Tati one. And then my older sister Sam gave me the Jaclyn Hill palette. My cousin Cynthia sent me the BH Cosmetics one. And then the other ones are either Christmas gifts, subscription boxes, or on sale. Okay, so this one I also received, this is the Butter London eyeshadow palette, the, the Natural Goddess. I, why haven't I used this more? Anyways, Natural Goddess palette, and that's just what that one looks like. Came in a boxy charm, and then ba a dose of colors baked browns came in a boxy charm. Yep. So I'll put all these up. <sighs> Almost done. So this is just my lip product drawer, and so I really just need to buy like more of these white things. But I have all my lip liners in here. I have like, I have like so many nudes, a red, a couple of berries, and then like a brown. And then I have like a whole bunch of lipsticks. This one is, I'm not going to show you guys all my lipsticks. So this one is, I got in an Ipsy. And then this one right here, I got in an Ipsy. This one, or is this the one I got in an Ipsy? Which one's this one? Oh, so this is a Smashbox one. I got like a little Christmas thing. This is one that I got in an Ipsy, Bare Minerals, Rimmel, Revlon, Ulta, Ulta. This one is Wet n Wild, Bite Beauty, Makeup Forever. There's a little Bite Beauty one right here. And then I have Heroin, um, MAC, Sephora. That's just a black lipstick. And then another Revlon one. And then right here in the center, I have all of my glosses. So I have some Bare Minerals. I have that um, that London one. What is it called? Iconic London. And then I have these that I got in my Ipsy. And then I have a CoverGirl one. Most of them are Bare Minerals. And then an Ulta lip gloss. Those are all my glosses. And then liquid lipsticks, I have lots of little bare mineral ones, Kat Von D, Believe Beauty, Smashbox, The Balm, lots of NYX, and then LA Colors, there's a wet Milani, I got a couple of Milani ones, and then Wet n Wild. So yeah, and those are all my lipsticks, got some pretty bold strange colors in there. And then in the very bottom one, this is just where I keep things to put my hair back. And then like all the makeup bags that I have. And then this makeup bag I'm going to send to my grandma. Yep, this makeup bag I'm going to send to my grandma. So I need to leave that out so I can remember. And then that is it, you guys, for my makeup collection. Oh, let me show you guys. So 
put a film on and i'll just go ahead and show you guys so this is also where i edit it's just like literally right over here from where i film and i actually just use iMovie to edit my videos it'll come up for you guys so y'all can see I mean, if you guys ever want me to go into detail about, like, how I edit on iMovie, like, how I add my inserts with, like, BoxyCharm, where, like, they have, like, the effects that zoom in, because I know they say you can only do that on um, Final Cut Pro, where you can make things, like, pop on the screen that, like, have effect effects, but I found a way to do it for free. It's a little bit more time-consuming, but if you want to see how, like, I add, like, the inserts with, like, the, where, it, like, will zoom across the screen with the price and stuff like that, like, if you guys want me to do, like, a do like an iMovie editing tutorial for beauty videos like let me know so of course this one's stacked crazy so anyways yeah i use iMovie for editing okay you guys that is it for today's video you guys i cannot explain to you like i know i'm still not at the top but i know where i started and when i first had a love for makeup you guys those little white containers that you've seen in my makeup collection that's all I had when I first started getting into makeup. Like that little thing was filled with filled with my foundation, concealer, eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara. Like that's all the makeup that I had was enough to fill up. So when I even when I very first started my channel, you guys, all of my makeup fit into one of these when I first started my channel. So if you guys ever wanted to start a YouTube channel, like you can start somewhere. And I've been abundantly blessed since I started my started my channel. You can ask Brian. I would randomly receive makeup in the mail from my cousin. People would randomly give me makeup, makeup brushes. So when I tell you guys that like 99% of my makeup is has been given to me, it truly has been given to me. And the crazy thing is, is that since I've started my channel, I've also given away so much makeup to like people that I know because I'm pretty sure that you guys don't want used makeup. So when I declutter and things like that I tell my loved ones or just friends and I'm like hey I have this makeup and I give it away like it's just an ongoing cycle and I notice that it'll randomly be put on my heart like oh give this makeup to this person and then shortly after that somebody will come to me with something and I'm just like oh like like you know like it's just been so beautiful and you guys have seen the growth from my channel like I said I didn't show it very much because you know you do get kind of prideful of like whenever you first start your channel of being like, oh, I don't have these big extravagant makeup collections and I don't have a big extravagant makeup collection right now. Like I said, when I started my channel, all my makeup could fit in this. Well, the first makeup collection I ever showed you guys of organizing my makeup, like I only had one, like I separated it into two drawers, but it very well all could have just fit in one section. And it has fit in all one section since we moved into this house. Um, I just recently separated it into two because that's just how much it had grown. And like I've said, I've spent very little of my own money on makeup. It's all been given to me. I always buy makeup on sale. So don't feel like you always have to have the best of the best. Don't feel like you watch these YouTubers and it's just like you start to compare yourself because for instance, like me, I don't buy all this makeup. It's just given to me and I don't. I don't lust after what bigger YouTubers have because at the same time, like I'm watching them, it's like I'm happy with my collection and I'd love for it and I'd love to maintain this size. And that's why I'm constantly cleaning it out because I I don't, even when I do get bigger and let's say I, whenever I do start receiving PR, like I don't think I could allow myself to not share that with somebody because of everything that's been shared with me. And so, yeah, so I just wanted to encourage you guys, like, if you wanted to start a YouTube channel, like, you see where I'm at. You see where I've started. You you see what I set my phone up on and my lights and everything like that. It's just get started. Have enough faith in yourself and enough faith that God has actually called you to this and that he will bless you through it and provide everything. Because I paid for one light. My mom bought me the other light. And... All my background stuff, I've bought in like three things in my background, three or four things in my background. The rest has been made for me or given to me. And like I said, I buy everything from the Dollar Tree or on sale. Like you don't have to have the best of the best. Sometimes it's best to swallow your pride and be faithful with little before God can be can bless you with much. And so, yeah, I love you guys. So, yeah, you guys can see that I actually gave away 
the makeup bag in this month's Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I'm giving away the makeup bag from last month. Like, I'm constantly giving away stuff. I have a bag of makeup in that closet that I need to give to my sister. Because I was going to record a makeup I'm getting rid of. But I'm just going to go ahead and give it to my sister. And, yeah, I just... It's very true. You do reap what you sow. And I know people always want to say that to be negative or when somebody's hurt them, like, oh, you're going to reap what you sow. But it can also be very positive. You can also reap everything good that you sow into this life and into your spirit and things like that. You can harvest all of that. And so just remember that, you guys. So if you ever thought about starting a makeup channel or a YouTube channel, like start where you're at. I started off with an Android edited my edit, recorded on my android edited my phones edited my videos on my android and then we upgraded to an iphone 6 recorded on my iphone 6 edited my videos on my iphone 6 and then well i was blessed enough and brian was such a good husband to just when we had the money to say you know what i'm going to invest in your channel and i want this to grow for you because i believe in you and so let's go ahead and get you a computer and i wanted a laptop but it just made sense to have a desktop. And so, yeah, um, that's where I edit on now. He's still using iMovie. And I told you guys that I figured out ways to do things. Like, I, I can't do everything, but I have figured out ways to do things on iMovie that you could do on Final Cut Pro. So if you guys want to see, like, a tutorial on that, like, let me know. So, yeah, I love you guys. Always remember that Jesus loves you more and he blesses you when you're faithful. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I love you guys, but Jesus loves you more. Bye. Mwah.